The Gold Coast crime hotspots will be targeted over the next 12 months by a new mobile CCTV initiative approved by the City Council. The Gold Coast City Council will be spending an estimated $170,000 on this trial, which was approved on the 26th of March. Community and Cultural Development Chair Councillor Bob LeCastro says these portable cameras will make our city safer for locals and tourists alike. We have the spots where we know that we need a, a CCTV presence, uh, but we also have quite a few events, a, a lot of events, major events in the city. We are a major tourist destination, so we want our tourists to be safe, we want them to feel this is a safe place to come, and obviously we want our local residents to feel safe, so it's, it's very high on our agenda. Griffith University's David Berkman remains doubtful of the CCTV trial's impact on Gold Coast crime. We do know from research about CCTV as it's been introduced both in prisons and across the more general community that it doesn't reduce rates of crime, it only moves that crime from the places where there's that type of um, formal social control. I'd like to see more social measures. I'd like to see all of the disadvantaged areas that are pocketed around the Gold Coast presented with a range of community, family-based um, services and events. The portable CCTV cameras will be used in conjunction with the city's existing safety camera network in Southport, Narang, Broadbeach, Surface Paradise and Coolangatta CBDs. This is Simon Jun for Gold Coast News.